what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here and we have some new images of jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn that should put the final nail in the coffin to confirm that this movie is taking place after the events of jeepers creepers 2 it is set 23 years later and it will be picking up after the events of the second film so I'm just going to jump right on into it and I will be showing these images. I'm going to show them the images that you're going to see here. Here's the first one. As you see here, this is looking like some type of uh, shrine. And if you look, take a close look at some of these things that are here, you have in the background, there is a Bannon County bloody letterman jacket. You see a dairy voodoo doll there's another voodoo doll the voodoo dolls are spread out there's the voodoo doll of the old cat lady in there as well we see candles set up we see a missing poster on the far right and just a lot of things hung up on the walls and where i'm gonna assume this is that also there's a lot of uh things that look to be very medieval and from the roman time so i think they're very much going to go into the into the origins of this creeper in the in a way not like how jeepers creepers 3 did where it was just we didn't see anything they, you touch his hand and it's, it's you see what it is but you, you're not going to tell the audience just teasing us um so i think they're actually going to give us something here and not just bs us and we see that there's again candles so this is clearly some type of shrine it looks like it's a room full of mementos that perhaps the creeper himself uh, keeps as like a keepsake for his 23 cycles he keeps something from all of his cycles now these voodoo dolls i'm gonna say that he's the one that makes these voodoo dolls um and i'm gonna go also go out and say that maybe they'll explore the the fact that this thing practices some type of witchcraft because as we saw in jeepers creepers 2 and in jeepers creepers 3 it was more comical in 3 than it was in 2 but in 2 we see that when taggart has the dagger in his hand it kind of just darts out and then it it just darts out and we're kind of just left the question well why why did it do that and i assume we were going to get answers to that in the in the third film victor salva would have given us but now that i'm thinking about it the cathedral script in and of itself didn't even really address that it didn't really explain why that happened but maybe this will maybe the creeper practices witchcraft what i'm hoping this is not i'm hoping this is not the creeper being summoned by a witch because then here's another image zoomed in a bit we see here again that bannon county letterman jacket that is the thing that should put the nail in the coffin for you guys it does not matter uh for those of us that are still doubting it let's take a look at something that bannon letterman letterman jacket that is confirmation that this is after part two because for one thing jeepers creepers three was set before the events of two there is no reason for there to be a bloody letterman jacket if this is prior to anything regarding the events of two or three not to say that it can't happen they could very well bs us again <laughs> and this could be something said before but the fact that we have that we have the dairy voodoo doll there's a voodoo doll of the old cat lady and then again like just a whole room of things that are basically a shrine to all of his past cycles i think the creeper is the one who made this here's another image see like a skull on top of the assuming that's a table in the background with all the candles on top of it this i'm gonna assume yeah this is the this is the creeper the creeper is the one who in it made this room i hope this belongs to it it looks like it's going to be located inside that house that if you guys have been doing your digging and your research and if you're in that facebook group you know the house that i'm talking about the house that we're assuming is going to be the creeper's lair in the film i've now gone out and stated that i think that this is not going to be located at the horror hound festival this is going to be something located off off campus from that festival something located in the same general area and what's going to happen of course we know we're going to have this couple chase and lane we know lane will be played by sydney craven chase we're presuming is going to be played by imran adams uh and they're going to be an interracial couple that's the presumption we're making and what's going to happen is lane's premonitions are going to get her in trouble with the creeper she'll be taken to this house where she'll be thrown or thrusted into this room and she'll go wandering and she'll come across this this room with all these things in it that are shrined to the creeper's past feeding cycles so i like these images and here's another one of the voodoo dolls up close another image of the voodoo dolls we have again dairy the old cat lady the prisoner 
uh, the cop that got his head cut off and then the other officer, I think, as well as in there, too. So these voodoo dolls uh, got to be witchcraft stuff. Witchcraft stuff is going on. And the creeper has to be the one making them. Why is he making them? Who knows? It's probably but, but then again, it's probably not the creeper. So I hope if it's not the creeper, they at least give us something satisfying. I, again, I hope it's not the case where a witch is summoning this thing. If it is, I'll rock with it, depending on how it's portrayed. But I just hope it's not that. I don't want this thing to have a puppet master. I don't I don't want that. If it's going to have a puppet master, I would rather it be that that theory that we I've seen many people have this theory that they think the like tentacles or whatever that stuff is on the back of the creeper's head is like a parasite. And that's what's controlling him. That's what's controlling him. I would I would like that to be the puppet master, not a whole different entity that walks upright and is a person and does witchcraft i don't i don't want that i don't want us to find out there's a witch in poho county and there was some deal that that was made and he traded his soul but he cheated the witch so now she cursed him that i don't i don't want something like that i don't i don't want that uh i think that's a cheap way to go with explaining the origins of this thing just explain to us that this is some type of demonic entity and it knows how to practice witchcraft that's why it has voodoo dolls what are the voodoo dolls for though because well i wonder if this would tie into the premonitions that people have because i could could they tie this into the premonitions that people have because otherwise why does he have these things um where did he first of all where did he even uh, that's probably gonna get into too many uh illogical things at that point because i'm questioning how did he even make this bannon county shirt if if he's the one who made these dolls how did he get them but let's assume he did not make these voodoo dolls that these are part of the horror hound festival for a second let's take a more logical route let's say he did not make these but people at the horror hound festival did they bring them to the festival but then something happens and they end up in the hands of the creeper and he just takes them to his lair and he puts them apart of his shrine now this bloody letterman jacket no one at the festival should have that this this is going to be something i assume the creeper has had since day one and again i like these images i like that the room is basically a shrine to his past 23 day feeding cycles over the course of however long he's been around in this area and i can't wait to see what they bring to the table for this film the fact that they have not yet announced anything cast related is a bit worrisome for some uh, just because we still don't know if Jonathan Breck is going to be in it again. My biggest thing now is I'm not concerned about Jonathan Breck as much as I am concerned about, okay, well, how is this thing going to look? It doesn't matter if it's Jonathan Breck or not. What does this thing look like now? What is it going to look like? What is the makeup looking like? How good does this look? I want to see that. I need to see something. I need to see a trailer, but let me know what you guys think about these images down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.